Hey everyone, I am bringing you a long overdue Target haul. So if there are two stores, actually if there's only one store I could pick to shop at for the rest of my life only, as much as I love Nordstrom, they don't really sell enough food. So it would have to be Target because I won't starve to death. I could be fully clothed and decorate my entire home. It just has everything. I love Target. Nordstrom, if they started carrying more groceries, It'd be, it would be close. But Target has my heart, it always will. I've always been a Target girl. And um, I've been meaning to do a haul for a while because they've added some new lines. I think they've scaled back on some of their other stuff, which kind of makes me sad because I love Massimo. Love that brand. They still have it, but I think it's less. If, if I'm, I could be wrong, but that's what it looked like in the store. Um, anyway, so I went to Target and I gave myself a budget. It's a little higher than normal just because, you know, it's a haul. So I set the limit at $200 and I came in right at two, like 201 with tax. So yay. Also, in honor of this being a more affordable Target haul, all of my makeup, with the exception of my concealer, is drugstore. So I will list like my eyebrow pencil, foundation, blush, highlighter, eyes, mascara, everything drugstore. So that's in the description box below, as is everything I'm about to talk about. So let's talk about this first. And I should have looked at the tag before I put it on. So I picked up a bunch of sweaters. The weather's finally changed here. It's literally, it's fall. And this is, you know what? Hang on, let me check. I checked. It's from their, one of their new lines. In fact, almost all of this is. It's called A New Day. It's a chenille sweater. I mean, I think it's kind of self-explanatory what it is. I got it in a size small because it's kind of cropped. Um, it has these like um, slits on the sides to, so that it's not quite so boxy and it lays, it drapes a little more nicely. It, it feels very, it feels like a barefoot dream sweater. It's just really soft and cozy. It comes in a variety of colors. I noticed that I have a distinct lack of color variation in my wardrobe. So I tried to branch out a little bit. So it's not gray, it's not black and it's not navy. So this is, Plum, purple, whatever. I love this. I could sleep in this. I might sleep in this. Anyway, I love this. And then um, let's go back to non-fall. Actually, I'm all about the cardigans right now and that's all well and good, but you need something to wear under the cardigans. And I grabbed this t-shirt also from a new day. This is an extra small and it's, you know, it's hard to look at in, in the light here. It's just a basic v-neck sweater. It reminds me very much of the lush side slit sweater, side slit t-shirt. I keep calling this a sweater. Lush side slit tee that was available during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and promptly sold out. Um, this doesn't have side slits, but it drapes very similarly. It's not see-through, even though I'm holding it up in the light and it kind of looks see-through. It also comes in white and maybe gray as well. Um, like I said, extra small. I just like the way it drapes. It's not too, it's a little, Despite the fact that when I held it up, it looks see-through, it actually feels a little more dense, the fabric, a little heavier, um, which I really like. And I've, if you can tell by the wrinkles and stuff, I pulled this off the hanger, probably needs to be washed. I love it. I love how it drapes and hangs. It's really beautiful and it's a great basic. I think it was like $12. Then I got two of these, also from A New Day, in an extra small. These also come in a round neck. Um, I got V-necks. I just feel like generally V-necks are more flattering um, I feel like they elongate the body a little bit more. So, um, and I feel like if you have a larger chest, if you have just a solid swath of material across your chest, you look like, um, <laughs> you know those, they're called maiden heads. I think they're called maiden heads. They're the, the figure on the front of, a, of an old fashioned sailing ship, a schooner, and they're like out like that, like these big chested. Anyway, I feel like I look a little like that. So I like a V-neck and this is from the brand, like I said, A New Day, extra small. It's just a basic, very lightweight, cut, like very thin cotton sweater. You can easily layer under it, over it, both, under things. It's great, comes in a ton of colors, um, ribbed uh, cuffs. And what I also liked about it, and there's hair all over it, on the bottom, is you know the little slit on the sides again it helps with draping or any, if you only want to tuck in the front and leave the back out i wouldn't say that the back is longer than the front but it gives you that that option so i just wore this one which is why it's got hair on it and all wrinkly i got it in this plum color see trying to expand my options and i have this one which i haven't worn which is like a like a muted forest green so they're very soft i will say that they do wrinkle 
a little bit. So get yourself a steamer. I happen to have a great steamer. I think I've talked about this a lot that I got at Target, actually. You can order it from other places as well. I know they have it on Amazon, but they do have it at Target. I'll put that below. Then another cardigan that I picked up. This is, I would say, um, a knockoff. I wouldn't say it's a dupe, but it's a knockoff to the Barefoot Dreams sweater. Um, they come in a ton of colors. There's definitely more color options than Barefoot Dreams. This is a straight up chenille um, cardigan with the shawl collar and sort of that cocoon circly wrap. It, it drapes open. There's no um, buttons or anything, just like the Barefoot Dreams circle cardigan. The difference is, um, there are some big differences. Uh, one is the price. <laughs> There's that. Um, two, this one is shorter. It hits like right at the top of the hips. So it doesn't have that elongating feature to it, especially if you're already a tall girl, lucky you, but um, it's not gonna hit you. The, the nice thing about the Barefoot Dreams cardigans are that they hit you at just the right spot to make you look a little taller than you really are. Unless you're a very petite girl, you may love these. The other thing is they don't have pockets, which I just, you know, I think everything should have pockets. If you can put a pocket on something, it should have one. Um, the material is, is thicker than the Barefoot Dreams cardigan, so it doesn't drape the same way either. Um, that being said, if you don't want to shell out $116 full price for a Barefoot Dreams circle cardigan, this is definitely a very similar look. I wouldn't say it's an exact dupe, but it's in that same range and there's more color options and it's obviously far more friendly for your pocketbook. And then I got two dresses. The first dress I actually wore to Christina Brawley's baby shower, which I believe you will have already seen. I put it back on the hanger for you and it is also from, oh, I should have said that this is from A New Day as well, the um, cardigan. And then this guy is probably also, where's the tag? No, this is from the brand Exhilaration and I got it in a size small and I don't even, it's a sweater dress and um, it's in the junior section. Sometimes they have cute stuff in the junior section. Uh, it's a sweater dress that is a little unique. It um, basic kind of slightly higher neck, not a full on turtleneck, but not like um, even scooped like this. The sleeves are ribbed a little higher, and I don't know if you can tell, but they kind of balloon out, that blue sawn sleeve, I think they call it. Um, it goes in a little bit at the waist, so it's not just a hanging sack, and I don't know if you can tell, but the top half is a slightly different knit than the bottom half. Like, this is more of a cable knit on top, and then the from like un, about natural waist level down is more of just the chenille, more finely gauge knit. And then the fun part, and now that my hair is shorter, I can actually appreciate this, is the back has a cutout right there, and it's not so low that your bra will show. That's key. So you can still wear a normal bra and you don't have to do anything weird. This was very comfortable. I felt very, I wore it with some very tall boots, um, over the knee boots. You could just wear it with normal length boots, booty, pump, you know, depending on what you feel like. I'm definitely gonna wear that with leggings or tights underneath now that the weather's a little bit cooler. Again, it comes in different colors. I got that in a size small. Junior sizes, I'm, you know, I'm a grown up woman. My body does this, so I need to size up a little bit. And then the other dress that I bought, I haven't worn it yet, but you will see it on me momentarily, is from the brand Who What Wear. Thank goodness they didn't get rid of this one. It is a dress for $34.99 in an extra small, and it's this, I don't know where I'm gonna wear this dress, but I bought it because I just think it's really cute. It's very, the color makes it a far more wearable dress than if it was something a little more funky. So it's that like rayon-y, polyester, lightweight kind of crepey blend. It has a nice scoop neck and then these flared sleeves with the bell, layered bell sleeves, which kind of drive me crazy. Um, natural waist, and then it flares down into like, almost like I'd say like, I think they call it a petticoat hem. So much for fashion blogger of the year. I have no idea what to call this, but I love that it's an uneven hem. It drapes beautifully. And the back has, um, it buttons at the top. And then the back has like a little bit of an open, 
openness to it, very similar to the sweater dress. And then it's a zipper to get it on and off. It's a nice zipper, I don't wanna pull. You know, you could easily dress this up, dress this down. I was thinking, oh, you know what these, I'm looking at this closely finally in the light. These little dots all over it are not white, they're silver. So you could really do a lot of interesting things. You could wear, a silver pumps are really big right now. You could wear them with silver pumps, basic black pumps. Um, you could wear it with, you know, black tights and maybe a black, very like more elegant, refined black booty type, uh, more like a shooty heel. Uh, you could throw a cardigan over it and dress it down a little bit. But for this price point, I think it's a lot of fun. I might wear this to, um, Shane is getting inducted into the National Honor Society this month. Yay, Shane! Two for two with the Goldberg kids! Michael and I, we did not get into National Honor Society. Thank goodness our kids are smarter than us. I could wear that and to dress it down so it's not too much. I would wear it with um, black tights and I have some old Tory Burch uh, shooties that would look really good with it. And I could even throw like a black cardigan over it just to kind of tone it down a little bit. So it's like suitable for a school appearance. Um, or you could wear it for a night out on the town. Um, you may notice different hair, different makeup. I knew I forgot something when I was filming the Target haul. I forgot this um, sweatshirt, which I love. Um, of course, I cannot remember which line it's from. I'll list it below. This actually comes in a short sleeve version as well, but it's this new like graphic tee kind of thing, but it's a sweatshirt. And the sweatshirt itself is very, I don't know if you, it's, it, it's similar in feel and cut to the Wild Fox sweatshirts, except it's not an $80 to $100 one. And so this is the love one, um, and I'm not gonna do a whole outfit thing, but the cuffs and the waist have the um, like this different banded material. And I will list the sizing and everything below, but I've been wearing this so much. I love the sweatshirt, and I hope that they come out with some really cute ones for the holidays. I'm kind of hoping, fingers crossed, that they do. So definitely, this might be my favorite thing I picked up. I know it's, it's not a big... Thing, but it's great with jeans. You can throw a blazer over it um, or cardigan. I just think it has a lot of versatility to it and it's just cozy if you just want to lounge in it. So there you go. One more thing. I love the love. So that is my little bitty Target haul. I think I did pretty well and got a lot in there for my budget. Um, I find that with Target, it's hit or miss though. Like there are times I walk in and I want to buy everything I lay my eyes on. And then this time, it really took me a while to find these pieces. Um, a lot of the materials that they're using right now seem to be very prone to wrinkling, which to me, it's like, that's a deal breaker. I mean, I don't care how inexpensive it is. If it requires maintenance, i.e. ironing. No, pass. Um, a lot of, it seems like more cheaper materials sometimes. A lot of, a lot of rayon and polyester that were like shiny. So I like to skip that. I feel like you can get some really great quality clothes that look expensive at Target. You just have to be choosy with the cut, with the, with the material that you choose, some of the colors. Um, but there are a lot of dupes. There are a lot of things that I could have bought that I really liked, but I already had very similar things in my closet. So um, I will link a few of those favorites if you're looking for dupes for some of the Nordstrom things that I bought that maybe it's not in your budget or it's no longer carried at Nordstrom. I will link some of those dupes in the description box as well because there's some great stuff. Target is weird. Some stuff is in-store only. Some stuff is online only. Some things you can order online, pick up in-store. So, um, you know, I'd definitely say go visit your Target store and see if you can grab any of this. Obviously, it was in my store. But also, I'd say check out the Target website because they have a lot more stuff online than they carry um, in the store. And maybe that's another video, just my tar a Target online shopping experience. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if there are other stores you would like me to do a little haul from. Um, I like this $200 price point, so maybe we can just make it what you can buy for $200 at that store. So, you know, do you want to see Ann Taylor or Loft, Old Navy? Let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that you choose to take time out of your day to spend it with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.